I'm Cheryl West, and we are doing a sample lesson for the Certified Horsemanship Association. For those who are interested in a certification for instructors, and we are at Houghton College, and we are going to do the lesson on simple change of lead. Okay, girls, so in this lesson, you guys are about 15, 16. You have had experience with lots of walk and trot and curves and circles and maybe a little bit of leg yield, okay? You are good at the canter. You can pick up both leads when you are on the wall or in the corner, but now we are going to introduce a new topic, okay? So we are going to introduce simple change of lead. So a simple change of lead is where you go through a trot or a walk, depending on your discipline, and you change from one lead to another. And the reason that we do a simple change of lead is so that we can maintain the balance of the horse when we are changing direction. Okay, does everybody understand? Good, okay. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go ahead and pick up a trot. Good, now, normally I would warm everybody up, okay? These horses have already been warmed up, so we are going to fast forward through the warm up, like we've done some exercises and some suppling and that kind of stuff to make sure the horses are ready for the task that we're about to do. Okay, so I want you girls to go ahead and start the pattern. You're going to go through that first cone and you're gonna do a 20 meter half circle to this cone. If you get too close, please do a circle. So through this cone, good girl. You're gonna look to the right. Turn your seat bones, look in the direction of travel, go through the next set of cones, okay? Okay, and just slow your seat a little bit. He doesn't have to keep up with everybody. Go ahead and drop your hand just a touch, there you go. Think about going a little slower. Good, so now we're making sure that you understand where you're going, okay? Good. All right, so now I'm gonna ask you to walk. So anytime that you're in the wall, or what I call the aisle, you're going to walk your horses, okay? So what we're gonna do is when you come through and you pick up the trot, and there's an A down here near this cone over here, you're going to pick up the trot at that cone. You don't have to do it yet, okay? From the trot, you're gonna trot this first half circle, okay? When you get here, you're gonna put the aids on for the canter, okay? Outside leg, go ahead and come through the serpentine. That a girl. Outside leg, okay? And then you're going to sit, turn your seat bones for the new direction, change, uh, put your outside leg on, Look in the direction of travel, add the inside leg, and open the inside rein just a touch if needed. When you come through this second cone, you're going to trot, so right about there, okay? Trot before you get to the cone, okay? Don't wait till you get there. Then you're going to change your aids. You're going to look to the left, outside leg, Make sure your seat bones are balanced. You can slightly open your inside seat bone and ask for the new lead. Does everybody understand? Okay, Amelia, you're good? Okay, Celeste, you're good? Good, Lydia, you're good? Okay, good, we're gonna give it a try. If you need to stop at V, that's okay. Rachel's gonna kinda help keep the timing so that I can help you guys as you come through. All right. So the first can of transition is going to happen right here. That first trot is just to kind of get you into the trot. Okay. Good question. Thank you. Okay. 
Good. So I want you to take a breath, relax your seat. Add both calves, lift your chest. Think about your horse coming forward into your hands. Yeah, you were already thinking canter, weren't you? Good. Okay, and as you're coming in, you're going to sit down. Outside leg, inside squeeze. Look to the right with your seat bones. So we got the left lead. So go ahead and break to the trot. So here's what happened. When you came through the cones, you actually looked left. Does that make sense? Okay, and that's okay. We'll go through and try this again. So I want you to make sure that your body, your entire body is looking to the right and not to the wall. Okay, so make sure you're looking over the inside ear so that you can see where you want to go and the horse can feel it. Are you ready, Lydia? Good. Keep them nice and slow. Just breathe, sit, Think about how he has to be a pleasure for Western, right? Good, and don't rush the canter. Look to the right, look your seat to the right. Okay, outside leg and canter. And so he doesn't, it's okay if you need to walk this horse. Okay, so walk, sit, good. Outside leg, look to the left and canter. Okay, so make sure you're not leaning in because when you lean in, did you feel how he dove in? Okay, so you have to make sure that your body isn't dropping way in. Okay, that's okay. Okay, go ahead and pick up your trot, Amelia. Good. Now make sure that you sit and prepare before you get there. So sit the trot, outside leg, look right with your seat bones, and canter. Good. Try to keep your shoulders over your hips. Breathe. Sit. Both seat bones down. Good. Right leg, open the left hip. Good job. Okay. Breathe. Sit. Relax your legs. Sit all the way down and post. Good job, a nice diagonal. Okay, we're gonna try it again with Otto, okay? Good, so make sure that you're looking a little bit left. You have a tendency to fall in on your inside seat bone. Okay, so look straight. Put your weight a little bit to the out. Look to the right, outside leg, there you go. Okay, so breathe. When you get ready, sit, drop both knees, sit down, okay, outside leg, good. Shouldn't have to put your leg back too far, okay, because it throws your body forward. Good, breathe and sit, good. That was a better downward transition. You didn't have to pull hard on the reins and you sat in the saddle a little better, okay. Good, we're gonna try this again. It's okay if he's used to going from the walk and doing a simple change through the walk, we can do that for right now, okay? Okay, we can teach him how to do it through the trot when we have a little bit more time. Okay, good. So you're just gonna breathe and relax. Look your hips to the right just a little bit, but put your weight slightly out. Open your inside knee. So, wait, do you feel how you lean back really hard? Okay, okay, so just relax, sit. Keep your shoulders over your hips, just use your leg. Outside leg on. There you go, good. Breathe, sit, all the way down. And try not to stand on your stirrups when you're trying to slow the horse down because that actually makes them want to go a little faster, okay? Good. Okay, so actually I'm gonna ask you to walk and we're going to switch direction. So wherever you are, okay, you're just gonna do a reverse and you'll have to give yourself a little bit of room. So walk auto forward and reverse and just take this little cute mare, yeah, or, or around the pole. Is it a mare? Yeah. Good. Okay, so yeah, Rachel, you're gonna switch and go down there. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna do the same exercise, but in the opposite direction. Okay, sometimes it's a little easier to start with the right lead. Sometimes it's harder, depending on the horse and the rider. 
Good. So now you get to go again. Right, Lydia? Good. Sit down. Outside leg. Relax. Push through your inside seat bone a little more and really think about how the canter feels. Okay? And then sit down. Outside leg back. So now it's going to be the right leg. And you're going to look left. That a girl. Good. Slow your seat. Breathe. Sit. Take your legs off the stirrups. Really sit down. Really sit down. There you go. And then go to the right. Good job. Okay. So now, last something I didn't mention that we're going to fix is we're going to trot on this side. Okay. And then we're going to canter left and then canter right and then trot at the far cone. Okay, so it's the same pattern, but now we're flipping it. Okay, good. So yeah, trot. Good, now you're gonna have to start preparing and thinking about it. So sit, breathe a little bit, outside leg, inside leg forward slightly, inside hip, Ooh, that was much better. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Sit down, breathe. Allow your seat bones to sit. Outside leg, open the inside hip, good. Get ready to sit down. Allow your legs to soften and drop and breathe. Good, better, okay. Okay, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up, okay. Yeah, go ahead and do this last one. We're going to sit, outside leg, inside leg forward, good. So don't drop your shoulder over your inside hip. Okay, keep that shoulder up. So breathe, sit, good. So keep that shoulder in the middle. Outside leg and inside forward. Bad, are you still, do you feel still how you're dropping in? Good, breathe and sit. So if you drop that shoulder in, it actually makes it a little harder for the horse to pick up that new lead. Does that make sense? You want to make sure that you're stacked over your hips and that you're not leaning in to take that lead. You want to keep that, that inside of your body just a little bit open, like you're opening a door. Does that make sense? Good. So to review, let's, let's think about when we are changing our leads, you want to be really careful that you sit down and that you prepare. Okay, as you're going through your leads, Make sure that you're looking in the new direction, that you're switching your outside aids. Be careful that you don't put your leg back so far that it throws your body off balance. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so when you practice this, think about it. Don't think about the change of leads so much. Just think about preparing, trotting, and then trying again. Does that make sense? Good. So that's our class with simple change of lead. Okay, so let's go ahead and gather up and line up. So we're gonna do the evaluation process. So I'm going to evaluate first and then we'll do assistant and then you guys. So I think that the pattern went well. Um, I, you all understood what we were doing and I think that went real nicely. Um, the thing that I would have fixed was to make sure that I explained when I switched directions that the pattern switched. And I should have been a little more clear with that, okay? So next time when I do that, I will make sure that we're clear on both directions. Uh, loved the, the layout and the clear instruction and expectations of my job with uh, watching the, space, the spacing and keeping, keeping that safe and where they needed to be while your attention was on the, the rider doing the pattern. All right, so I really liked how clear you were telling me what I was doing wrong with my body, which was not helping the horse get the canter, and then how you told me what I should be doing in order to fix it to help her get the canter. I really liked your lesson setup. I thought the channel on the far wall was really helpful in keeping the rider able to just focus on the pattern and not worry about where the other riders were in the arena. I would have liked to have known your name and your assistant's name before starting the lesson. Um, I thought that you did a really good job of keeping your voice loud enough so that everybody could hear you. Even when you were facing away from me, I could still hear clearly what you were saying, so that was really helpful. Thank you. Just a reminder that all CHA practice lessons must include a thorough safety check before riders go out on the rail. This includes checking 
helmets of riders, and proper footwear and attire, adjusting stirrups, checking the tightness of girths and cinches, checking the bridle of the horse, and the overall demeanor of the horse and rider. Another good idea in a CHA sample lesson is to have a demonstration. This can be done either by having one of the role-playing students become advanced to be able to show the skill being taught or you yourself getting on the horse and showing it or walking it out on the ground, for example, if it is a pattern. 